Hello, my name is Gary Patterson. For over 30 years, I have trained dogs for Schutzen, AKC Tracking, Obedience, and Police Canine. When I first started, much of dog training seemed counterintuitive, focusing on making the dog think like a human, resulting in inconsistency, confusion for trainer and dog, poor attitude, and stress for everyone. Instead, I learned to approach dog training from the standpoint of the trainer thinking like the dog, using a broad scientific and practical understanding of young dog development, learning, and reinforcement. This behavioral approach brought success for me and my students in championships, AKC matches, and certifications for working police dogs. In 1994, I started as a serious trainer, whose aim through books and website articles was to promote this approach to all dog training no matter the nature of the training or breed of dog. Today, every good dog trainer I know looks to the behavior of the dog as the starting place and foundation for advanced work. There is no other approach that makes sense. What follows in this video relies fundamentally on this approach. So look for how I manipulate the dog into willingly doing what I ask. The result will be a strong attitude for training in the dog with a minimum of stress for both dog and trainer. Conrad Lawrence was an Austrian biologist and Nobel laureate who developed many of the modern theories of animal behavior. This circa 1940s film shows the results of imprinting gray lag geese goslings from the egg. He showed this bonding process is genetically driven and once established becomes permanent. Notice how Lawrence becomes the surrogate mother goose as a result of his early experimentation with the goslings willingly following him. This early theory of bonding became an important part of the process that modern dog trainers call imprinting. This 25 year old video clip is of imprinting work with a 10 week old puppy who is the same Schutz and Three dog shown in the opening clip, Flint. Each move by the trainer seems like random play to a good puppy, but notice how each exercise specifically goes after our goals. Remember, this is not training. You do not have to keep repeating it until it is, quote, right, close quote. A few minutes each day is all that it takes, and usually the dog will be ready to sleep at that point.
A few final thoughts about imprinting. The techniques shown in this video can be extended to tracking and agility. I will address some of these additional ideas in future installments and most are also described in a separate chapter on imprinting and training the behavior at the end of this video. Notice how I mix the articles I use in imprinting. I use squeaky balls interchanged with a toy dumbbell, paint roller, soft towels, and a cardboard tube. Imprinting works best in that period from six weeks to three months, but any young dog can benefit from this approach. If you're interested in a more behavioral approach to dog training, take a look at Training the Behavior and Tracking from the Beginning by Gary Patterson. They are available at SeriousTrainer.com along with more dog ideas and original training equipment designed by Gary Patterson.